everyone, welcome to a very special episode on Smart Money. This is a part of our Outstanding Women in Finance series and today I have with me someone who perhaps needs no introduction in the market. Amisha Vora of Prabhudas Liladhar is with us. She has completed over 35 years in the financial markets and now has perhaps completed a full circle. Recently she acquired Prabhudas Liladhar and raised her stake in the group all the way to 90% plus. Amisha, thank you so much for joining us on the show and uh, congratulations on this move. Thank you so much and it's always a pleasure when you are in front of us. <laughs> How sweet, thank you. You know, it's been a long journey, right? I mean, we have interacted all for over 15 years now. What has your biggest learning been in this journey? You've been through the ups, downs and everything in between. What's your biggest learning? So I'll tell you, of late, I feel that in the markets and also in the business, perseverance makes all the difference. Earlier I used to say that there is no shortcut to hard work. Now I say that one needs to add, be it on your investments, be it in your business, perseverance. And I always proudly say that you can beat me in anything but not in perseverance. Okay, that's one thing <laughs> that will stay with me. Um, so tell us a little bit about the rationale behind this move. I mean, what made you take that step to acquire the group? And now what do you see as the vision for the group? So frankly, uh, this question continued to rattle in my mind quite a lot because uh, I'm not at that 35, 40 age also where I have a very long, uh, you know, time ahead. But I still feel that this will be the best decade for India. And also that this is one of the very well-respected brand. It is a national brand as we, as you might know that we are now present across 20 cities with our branches, but almost 2,000 plus franchisee represent us with clients. And from institutional side, of course, as you know, domestically and globally, we are very well uh, covered. So I thought that this is the time when I need to really take this plunge and take it furthermore professional as well as independent. Right now it is ownership and management a bit merged. We were four partners looking after the business and also managing the business and owning. My idea is now that ownership is one aspect. Yes, I have consolidated, but here on the management will be further delegated with commensurate returns in terms of whether equity stakes or ESOPs managing the growth. Okay. You said that this is uh, perhaps going to be the decade for India, right? Um, how would you corroborate that with some data? Because we are seeing the equity cult come back in a big way now. Retail is back in a big way. We are virtually at all-time highs. Do you see this as a structural up move for the Indian markets? I definitely feel so. One is, I will say, from the economy perspective, then is, of course, the savings habit perspective. Uh, and both has to go hand in hand uh, in this journey. From economy perspective, I think, the COVID, the way it injected and impacted the world and how smartly we navigated without over splurging is standing us apart. We always used to talk about our vision for Atma Nirbharta, but now that is being actually seen, be it in defense, which is a big industry, be it in our other infrastructure aspects, including railways, and both these plus our reasonably good finances and China plus one and Europe plus one has kick-started our capital goods industry big time. Now, I think that with steady and strong banks, very good capital goods sector and the combined vigilant view of our governments, not in terms of, you know, coming back after businessmen for income tax and X, Y, Z, but coming behind industry to support at the right time from any global headwinds. I think that's a sea change which has happened. And as the breadth of the sectors that participate in our growth, we always knew we are the best demographic country in the world. As the breadth of the sectors keep expanding and the opportunities to make money keeps expanding. Second, second side you see, we have withstood the entire FII selling onslaught and we are just standing tall. Absolutely. And that what has saved up till now to us is the SIP, the financialization habit which has happened. 
if you take a decades time we will be more than doubling our per capita we will be the third largest economy not only that the number of millionaires and billionaires will just shoot up so be it wealth industry and be it all industry around it fundraising investment banking mna corporate advisory will all flourish according to me and this is also perhaps a great time to be a woman in financial services right because i mean the name of our series is outstanding women in finance and earlier on there were issues like the gender pay gap it was harder for women to survive in this industry but now a lot of the dialogue is taking place how do you feel about it and what would your advice be to that woman who's watching you right now and perhaps wants to either reach where you are or you know follow your footsteps see recently even uh, uh, Ms. mrs sita raman was there in one of the event which was organized about uh, women on board and some of the statistics not only in india but globally are also not very encouraging so to say only 10 to 11% of the women uh, represent boards uh, and less than that globally and less than that in top management ceo cx positions but i think that it is a start which has happened and as people more people like you who are younger very well educated and more people like me who do not hesitate my say daughter in law going for an oxford the kind of encouragement which is going to get uh, now on we'll see that in next 10 to 15 years the scene will completely change we are in the midst we have traveled a long distance from where i started my career you know my be despite being a chartered accountant gold medalist uh throughout in school and college my father used to tell me jo jaya beta matlab ki be careful if your mother in law says then you can work so that was the mindset and look at my mindset forget that i am professionally uh, always busy but i tell my daughter in law that if you don't if you want to be an ias try that if you want to go to oxford try that i'll be the first and last to support to you. support you and i'm sure same you will do absolutely so the, the mindset is changing now mindset is changing it is just a question of time then we will forget about you know women empowerment it will be all i say is women entrepreneurship you know the one good thing about the stock market right is that uh, gender pay gaps don't work here the stock market is a level playing field for everyone exactly uh, you would agree with that i'm sure but do you think this whole gender pay gap issue still exists in 2022 i mean of course india is at the lowest ranking uh, you know as far as the gender equality is concerned but how do you feel about that uh, in your peer set particularly in finance sector uh, i'm sure you know many women who are heading beat mutual fund beat uh, that uh, side of the businesses of any banks or anywhere they are heading i don't think the board would have considered that you know the ceo is a woman so we will pay her 30% less ye to man jayegi i don't think it's going to work like that what rather i feel is that this generation which is just having a run of almost 20 25 years ahead of them it's up to them to not give it up in between they have to show equal sincerity i don't think that gender gap leading to pay gap exists be it in research be it in uh, wealth be fund it management. in sales funds management in finance market i don't think so okay well you know i want to talk a little more about your investment style because this is a market where it's become very hard to uh, catch on to larger trends before you know it trends are changing you know for 6 months defense is doing well for 6 months psu banks are doing well how do you know what is the sec- next sector the big sector that will boom what is your own style see from investment perspective yes there are certain things which come in fade they go away but more important is it has to be for a sustainable time 3 to 5 years is the time when you can really unlock some wealth otherwise you are trading so for that i think the golden principles which have worked over the cycles and i think which still remain very true is to identify businesses or rather managements in a combination where you see the potential 
of A, profit growth. So your market cap grows in line with profit growth, but where there is a possibility of re-rating. So there are businesses which go into an inflection cycle. For example, Gujarat Florochem. They were doing business, they were in the business for so long. As they started allocating capital to say specialty chemicals, which was leading to much higher ROE, much higher margins. So as the structure of the business changed to profit growth with enough free cash generation, operating free cash generation and ROE, the stock hugely re-rates. So the all effort is to find out where there is profit growth and re-rating possibilities, then the combination becomes very deadly. Okay, that's very interesting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a short commercial break. On the other side of the break, we'll resume our conversation with Amisha Vora as part of our Outstanding Women in Finance series. Don't go anywhere. Celebrating Dr. Kuri.